This tutorial is going to cover how to populate your Google Plus page that you've created for your brand, product, or business with your profile photo, information about your company, and more. As you can imagine, creating a Google Plus page for your brand, business, or website is very beneficial for your search engine optimization, or SEO. As Google is the largest search engine in the world, naturally they're going to give a lot of credit to pages that are created using their own platform. So in this case, creating a page for your business, although it's a very new thing, is very beneficial to how your website shows up on the web and also to circulate your information around the Google Plus network which is growing by millions of users each week. The first step is to log into your Google Plus account as yourself and then make sure that you select from this area right here which company you're trying to edit. Not yourself, in this case we're going to choose Website School. This is the home page, this is the home page of your Google Plus page. As you see we haven't really added any content to this. So the first thing, which is obviously the most important in my opinion, is the logo or the profile photo. So I click, on, I click on the photo and it becomes a little bit bigger. Then this blue button appears for Edit Profile. Click on that. As I've said before, Google makes it really, really easy to edit different parts of different things within their service. So Google Plus is no different. As you can see, when you roll over different elements of the page, they highlight themselves to show that once you click on them, that's how you edit them. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to edit the photo by clicking here on the Change Photo button. We can upload a photo from our hard drive, choose from photos we've already added on Picasa, photos of ourself, or take a photo using the webcam. In this case, we're going to choose to upload. You can either drag a photo here or select a photo from your computer. So I'm going to pull up a folder on my computer and drag a photo into this box. The full, the full photo of Website School doesn't always work for a profile photo, so you want to choose something that's more square. So here we go. Here's my full-size logo, which is a little bit horizontal. So I'm going to choose this photo because I think that looks much better as a profile photo. I take the photo, drag it into the box, it turns blue, and it begins to upload. Now Google's going to put these little square boxes around my logo as handles for what I'm going to show on the full, as the full profile photo. So I can drag up to the top corner to make sure it sees everything and drag to where every single thing is visible. Make sure that it's centered properly and I should be good to go. I can turn the photo to the left or to the right or use the creative kit for, for some more customization options. In this case it's pretty good and pretty set how it is so I'm going to click this blue button for set as profile photo. So now that my photo is added I can add a comment about my new photo and share it with my friends here on Google+. Check out my new profile photo. How awesome. Click the green button for share. So now that our photo has been added and, and we've uh, shared some information with our friends, which we'll see later, let's continue editing the, let's continue editing the profile. First we'll choose contact info, uh, even though we can go to introduction, photos, videos, and posts. Posts, we can't edit anything from this screen. So anyways, here to, here to about, so let's go to contact info. Phone. And let's choose email. Now you can add a, an you can add your physical address, fax number, pager number, chat, or you know your phone, your mobile phone or other phone numbers. In this case, we should be good, so we're going to click the blue button for save. Now be aware, even though I brushed over it relatively quickly, there was a drop down on there that says whether or not we want to share this with anyone on the web or just our friends. You see this drop down here, you can share with only your, only your circles, your extended circles, anyone on the web, only yourself, or create it as a custom. In this case, I would love for people to give me a call and talk about website school, so I'm going to share it with everybody. So I click save again, and now it's shared with everyone on the web. Next we're going to get to the introduction. Here you put a little bit about your page so people know that they've found the correct website school. Click on it, really simple. Put a little bit of your page here so people know they found the right school. Click and it immediately goes away. Here's a paragraph that I've already prepared. Website schools and online education of everything internet, about our tutorials, our training, and so forth. So this is good. I want to share with anyone on the web. Save. And there we go. Uh, I think I want website school in bold. I go back. I highlight the word. I click bold, and there we go. If I wanted to make something italic, I can follow the exact same thing, and I can do this for italic, I can underline, I can do whatever I want. I'm all, I also want to add a link, because I want people to go to the website. HTTP, www.websiteschool.com, 
highlight that link, control C for copy, or if you're using a Mac, follow whatever you have to do on a Mac. Click link. There you go. It's not an email address, it's a web address. OK. And save. There we go. Now you see Website School in bold, the link appearing below, and look, I just noticed there it is. So, stupid me, I'm going to click this, click that, delete, and, and go back. The next section, which I think is a really, really interesting feature about uh, Google Plus pages, is the recommended link section. It allows you to link to other pages, kind of like a blog roll on WordPress or um, linking to other websites on the sidebar of your website. This is where you can tell people what pages interest you the most. You can add a custom link. In this case, the first one we're going to add is Ambition Insight. Ambition Insight is the web development agency I run that, that runs Website School. We create websites for clients that aren't interested necessarily in creating them themselves, but want us to develop high-end high -end website, high-end graphics, and then they want to use our training to continue upgrading that website from there. So, in this, so here we've added our link, so we're going to click Save. I want to add a couple of more, so I'm going to do Add a Custom Link. I'm going to do WordPress, which I think is definitely a great link to have. So I link to www.wordpress.org. Click Save, and there you go. Another link that I'm going to add to the recommended, li recommended link section is, is both our Twitter page and our YouTube page. There we go. And then you'll see the nice little YouTube link appear in there as well. Now while, while we're at it, we might as well add our Twitter page as well. So we're going to do the same thing. Find us on Twitter full URL, which is very important. Make sure you always include that HTTP, especially when you're linking on a, on a website, because otherwise you're not going to really send anybody anywhere. Save. And we also want to do our Facebook, which is a pretty common thing as well. You'll notice that in the interest of saving time, I added a couple of other links, our YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn page, and RSS feed over on the recommended link section so we didn't drag that process out anymore. So next we're going to get to is add some photos. Click on the blue bar. This is kind of the exact same way as adding the profile photo. It's very simple. Click to add a photo. You can drag a photo here from your computer. So I'm going to choose a couple of, I'm going to choose a couple of graphics that, uh, that we've used for website school. So our main logo. Uh, I'm also going to use our the cap button that we have. Oh, that didn't work. So I need, obviously I needed to click add photo again. So back on the blue button, or back in the blue area. Okay, so I'm human, so I made a couple mistakes here. So I need to go back to the blue button for edit profile. It's good because you, this might happen to you as well. So I click back on the edit profile button, and now I can start rolling over these blue things. Click on add photo, and just like I was saying before, I now can drag other uh, other parts of our logos in here, like the cap, and maybe maybe our Twitter background, which I think is pretty uh, pretty interesting. Click on here, drag that in there, and we're now good to go. Now we click the blue button for OK, and now we see a couple interesting logos that we've added um, about website school. So once again, you'll see I've added a little bit more information. I've deleted a couple of things. Is This is the final output of what I want from this process up until this point. And just as a final overview, you want to roll over your recommended links, intro, contact info, website, different tabs like photos. This is how you're going to choose you know, whether or not each tab is shown on your profile, whether you want or not you want to allow people to download the photos, if you want to add a geolocation information on new photos and albums, like you know, where you're taking the photos. Um, for videos tab, you can sh choose whether or not you want to show this tab on your profile and so forth. But once again, everything is very, very simple to use. You pretty much just click on it and you can figure out exactly what you want, um, like right here even. Every single section of this site is very customizable, even down to the tagline. You can just click on it, choose who you want to share it with, change it, and click the blue button for save. Um, and, and once you're done, obviously click on the red bar for the done editing. And now you have a fully edited, fully done Google Plus page with some photos and some other information. So from here, you can just watch as you add away and as people start following you and adding you to circles, and you should be uh, ready to share with the world.